isn't over yet. It's still rolling on with over 900 companies expected to report this week. What are some of the must-see earnings charts? There's some interesting ones this week, and I brought them for you. Some are good, some are not so good, but these are the companies that we're all going to be talking about this week. Let's dive right in and see what they are. So the first chart you should know is eBay. Look at this uh, chart they haven't missed. I'm saying since 2019 because for some reason there's a couple quarters missing in there. But everything else looks good, so I'm not seeing any red on this chart, and that's a good thing. Even during the pandemic, they were meeting or beating. So they've got the good track record, and now shares have really taken off here in 2021, as eBay has seen a couple of areas of um, a lot of demand, including in the sports collectibles on the cards. So card collecting is back, like baseball cards and Pokemon and that kind of thing. So they're doing over a billion dollars a quarter in sales just of those cards. And you can see shares are up 30% year to date on this nice rally. They have pulled back off those highs, but will another beat push them higher? They're not that expensive trading it just 16 times. So this is one of the old tech names that is looking kind of attractive here. Now we're going to switch over to one of the new tech names, Palantir. They only went IPO just last year during the pandemic, and they beat three times in a row, but the shares are all over the place, as you can see. And now here in 2021, they're actually down about 3% year to date. So this is another one that could benefit if we see another beat here. Um, Shares are not cheap, unlike eBay, trading at 155 times forward earnings. But a lot of these new IPOs are just, you know, spend the first couple of quarters trying to find their footing. Then we're going to switch over to one of the old stocks again. The Disney company, DIS, is the ticker. They beat big four quarters in a row here, not because their parks were open, but because of their streaming service. The big launch during the pandemic and the success of the streaming has really propelled those shares last year. But this year, 2021, they're actually down almost 3% here as everybody's waiting for another catalyst. Now, the parks have mostly reopened and capacity limits um, are higher than they were in 2020. So they should be seeing some good results out of that. They still are probably um, below pre-pandemic levels on cruises and hotels and some other areas of hospitality, but the recovery should be being priced in here, um, even for the box office as we move forward. But the thing with the Disney shares now is they're not cheap, trading at 76 times here. That could be why we're not getting much of a rally here in 2021. Valuation could be an issue, so that's something to watch this quarter. Then we're going to rotate back into one of the new IPOs again, Airbnb, ABNB. This was a highly anticipated IPO, but um, it did do what everybody thought it would do. The shares took off there in early 2021 as travel was returning, and especially on the um, home front, which Airbnb specializes in. So a lot of people bought into this IPO. It did have the miss on the first earnings, but that's not unusual for a new um, publicly traded company. And it did beat last quarter, but still shares are down about 4% year to date. That seems to be kind of a pattern with some of these popular names this week, is that we're seeing a little bit more of the treading of the water here in 2021 with some of these. So this is gonna be one to watch. There's no PE, expected to lose about $2 here in 2021 after losing $15 in 2020 when the pandemic hit. So they're on their way in the right direction on the earnings, but uh, this is gonna be an important quarter with the Delta variant of the coronavirus out there uh, gaining steam. What are they seeing on their bookings? That's something to watch. Then we're going to wrap it up with another recent IPO in 2020, Rocket Companies, ticker RKT. This is the mortgage company that makes it easy to get a mortgage. And you would think 
this would be doing quite well as housing demand remains strong. And it has beat the two out of the three quarters, as you can see, but the shares are also down about 29% here year to date, actually. So they've really, uh, you know, they're now trading below the IPO price, considerably below, but that's because earnings are expected to decline this year and next year. It now has a Zach's number five strong sell ranking because uh, everybody's assuming 2020 was peak earnings with the number of people rushing out to buy homes that it, there's nowhere to go but down, even though the down is still strong. <laughs> so um, Rocket is one of those companies that was a big pandemic winner, but now may not be so. PE is dirt cheap, trading at eight times because even with the decline in earnings, um, it's still got high earnings. So it's still uh, trading with that low PE, but uh, still strong earnings, just not as strong as what it had seen in 2020. And analysts taking it down both this year and next year by the double digits for the revenue. So revenue going to decline, earnings set to decline as well. And so this is one to watch this week because of the, the hot housing market, how hot has it remained? And this could be one of the ones that could be a deal here if shares continue to weaken. But that's something to watch with all of these stocks this week. So as you can see, there's some interesting things going on with some of these hotter, must-see stocks here in 2021. The rallies of 2020 seemingly have ended unless you're eBay and some of the others are just kind of treading water waiting for the next catalyst if there is one. So that's something to watch in this earnings season with a lot of these earnings reports. Even though companies are beating and things are looking good, what is the future looking like? That is something we're watching closely. So you don't want to miss a single episode of the earnings all-stars there's still quite a few number of companies yet to go on the earnings reports including many of the hot retailers so you don't want to miss a single episode get them all at zax.com youtube and i'll see you again next week with some more earnings charts